Do you know some Italian words? I, I do. I know a beautiful uh, Italian phrase, a very poetic phrase. Wow. Um, uh, che cazzo fai? <laughs> BSMT. Bella raga, nuovo appuntamento, nuovo Passa dal Basement, bentornati, nuova puntata incredibile, mi verrebbe da dire, lo so, ultimamente sto utilizzando spesso la parola incredibile, l'aggettivo incredibile, però raga non so, di ditemi voi, ditemi voi davvero, perché io se no ho finito, ho finito le parole, se non è questo incredibile, che cosa lo è, perché sta succedendo, innanzitutto ciao, io sono Gianluca Gazzoli, se ancora non l'avete fatto viva, iscrivetevi a questo canale, ci state, se ci state guardando e ascoltando su YouTube, se ci state ascoltando su Spotify, grandi, continuate a farlo anche lì, oggi a maggior ragione credo sia importante ascoltarci e vederci perché signori sta succedendo davvero tra l'altro per la prima volta nella sua vita è ospite all'interno di un podcast e lo fa qui al basement perché signore e signori giuro giuro non è clickbait dal basement from 30 seconds to mars è passato già red letto e hi man how you doing how are you doing you know i have to say brother you have <laughs> A good head of hair. Wow. Ooh. Wow. But I you mean, too. No, you no, too. No. Bro. <laughs> just say, no. <laughs> this is a mess. No, but your hair. Wow. Thank you, man. You have man. the thickest head. Is it true? <laughs> I mean, is it true? Look at this hair. Yeah, thank you. You have the thickest head of hair I've ever seen. You're never going to wow, lose. Wow. But no, it's you, an honor. It's if an you honor. live to 300 years old, you're never going to lose your hair. <laughs> Yeah, right. and good. then uh, I I can tell you my secret. I yeah. can tell you my okay, secret. Okay, good. I'll tell you my secret. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Share yours. our secret together, wow. please. Yeah, man. <laughs> It's a great honor. It's a great Thank honor you. to have you well, here. Thank you really. for having me. I really. appreciate it. Uh, do you know some Italian words? I, I do. I know a beautiful uh, Italian phrase, a very poetic phrase. Wow. Um, uh, che cazzo fai? Yeah. <laughs> usually we, we learn always the bad words. That's it. Usually. That's <laughs> it. But to me, it sounds beautiful. <laughs> it's perfect. For yeah. the Italy, this phrase, yeah. it's, uh, it's yeah. perfect. Yeah. And uh, how, how many times uh, have you been in Italy? I've been to Italy um, about 100 times, maybe. Wow, um, okay. But you know, the, the best thing about uh, coming to Italy is the people. Wow. You know, the people are very warm, feel yeah. very comfortable. Yeah. And I think in America we have... Um, We have a connection to Italian culture. Yeah. You know, we're connected to Italian culture through, uh, you know, our, we, we, it's something familiar about it. And oh. uh, so it does feel like home. Yeah, um, but and, we, we uh, love you. Many people in yeah. Italia love you. Well, I, I've had uh, an incredible uh, uh, journey in Italy. My brother and I playing shows from back at the Alcatraz ah, yeah, yeah. Uh, to, to, to now. And... It's been a dream, well, brother. It's been a yeah. dream. Uh, I'm very happy because I'm a big fan of uh, 30 Seconds to Mars. Thank you, brother. When I was 20, I go, uh, I went uh, around the city with my car and scream, uh, break me down. Yeah, the yeah, Kill yeah, is yeah. my one of my favorite thanks, songs. Thanks, thanks, yeah, thanks. yeah. For the, for the good and bad moment. Thank you. Uh, no, I appreciate it. And what we were just talking about the Kill in the car, actually. Yeah. And what's... It's a beautiful thing. It's people are still discovering that song. Um, young people, whoever. Wow. People are discovering it on TikTok, on streaming, yes. on YouTube or whatever. The song just continues to have a life. A new as life. well as a lot of the other old songs too. So it's a, it's a really nice thing that they continue to find people. Yeah, and thank you for coming back with, uh, with your music. You know, it's been five years. Five years. Yeah. It's a long period. Yeah, five years, long period. And it was, it, we're ready to, to be back. Yeah, yeah. And uh, the, the world of music uh, yeah, has changed in, in, this, in these years. Yeah, it's changed a lot. And that's, that's fun. I mean, we take about five years between albums, usually four years, five years. And the, the, the great thing about it is you change so much in that time. So yeah. when you write a new album, you have different interests, different tastes, different uh, experiences, and, and you share those. And uh, ultimately, you know, it's kind of a nice way to ensure that you're always going to do something different. Yeah. And we, we play and listen stock everywhere in these, in these, nice. uh, in these days, in radio or Thank around the city. Uh, also, um, <laughs> and, and the video, the video is crazy. 
Thanks. You direct the video. I directed the yeah. video. Yeah. Uh, you connect music and art together. Yeah, it's a fun thing to do. You know, I started as a an artist, a painter. Uh, when I was very young, I wanted to be a, a visual artist. So I went to art school. I studied uh, figurative painting. I studied photography. I studied film at art school. And, you know, when I make music videos and with music, it's a way to, to tie all those things together. And the video for Stuck was really, it was a love letter to a group of photographers that really changed my life. Wow. Um, yeah, but uh, I really enjoy uh, being able to direct those it's videos. It's great. Uh, your, your, your brother is a, a, a member, a founder, about 30 yeah, Seconds yeah, to yeah, Mars. Yeah. And uh, where is it, where he is now? My brother is in Los Angeles. Yeah. Um, he was just in Europe. We, were, we played a concert for the BBC Radio One. Oh, okay, well. Uh, and then we did, um, we actually replaced, we didn't, we're not really a touring right now, yeah. but we did a show in, in Poland. Yeah. Um, there's an artist named Sam Smith who dropped out of a show, so we replaced him at this fe festival. Okay. Um, and we weren't ready to do it, but it was a lot of fun. It was incredible. But he's back in L.A. preparing for Lollapalooza. Yeah, now. For, yeah. for next summer, for this summer. Yeah, in August uh, 2nd. Yeah, Thank are you, you are you exciting for oh, yeah. for come back on stage with yeah. many when a lot of people yeah. in front? We we played Lollapalooza in 2003. Oh. And then we wow. played it again in 2007. Yeah. Um so now it's been a very long time since yeah. we played uh and uh, yeah, it'll be nice to return. Yeah. And and this summer you you play you will play at the We Were Young festival. Yeah, we'll play We Were Young. This festival, it's a dream for, for oh, my yeah. generation. Yeah, yeah, it's a fun one to go and play with all the bands from, yeah. from that, that time period. Um, and then we're playing Austin City Limits, ACL, and then a big one in Mexico. Um, oh, I don't know if it's announced, but Corona Capital. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Wow, uh, it's uh, it's incredible. I saw that you share on your on your Instagram the, the chart of Spotify or Apple Apple Music maybe. Uh, what is your relationship with uh, with the platform with the streaming today? Well, it's it's great. I mean, it's what an easy way for people to find your music and listen to your music. I think it's a uh, it's a beautiful thing. I mean, they can listen to your catalog, and you know, there's a lot to like about it. I mean, I, I think you got to give people music the the most the, the quickest and easiest and cheapest way that you can. Um, so those those platforms help us reach a lot of people. So I like okay. them. Okay, yeah. and what, because when you when you start with uh, thirty second to Mars, we start with a compact disc, maybe. Oh yeah, I mean <laughs> even before that, when we started, they were still it was CDs for sure, um, uh, but now we make you know a lot of vinyl. Okay. Um, yeah. And people love to buy vinyl. They oh, love the object, the collected. The, yeah. yeah, they like to get the actual big, uh, the big artwork. And you know, for this album, it's actually called uh, the album is called "It's the End of the World." Yeah. But it's a beautiful day. Um, and I took photographs last year of the sky every day. Um, okay. So I have all these wow. photographs of the sky, and I chose ten of them um, and did ten different album covers. But you know, I see you're collecting a lot of things here. It's the the, the vinyl is it's uh, meant to be shared as a, a collection. So you know, to put ten of them in a row somewhere, um, it's like a series, and it's quite quite beautiful to see them all together. Uh, and I took them just so, you know, on my phone and yeah. in moments in Paris or Nevada or California. And uh, it's a quite personal. And, wow. uh, I thought represented at the sound of the album. Do, do you have some collection in your in your life, in your, you know, in your home? I, I do. I, I like to collect Andy Warhol. Wow. OK. Art. Um, it's better than my collection. But, is. It's, a, <laughs> but it's a it's a bad habit because it's uh <laughs> You know, it's um, an expensive habit. Yeah, I love Andy Warhol. No. Um, Andy Warhol, I'm obsessed. And then you, and do you have a, a place like this in your life, like a basement, like uh, your studio? You know, I don't, but I, I would like to build one. You okay. know, in, in California, I live, I have an old uh, Air Force base. Okay. So wow. I have a, like a military ah, yeah, yeah. compound. I, I read. Yeah. I read. And uh, it's quite cool. Yeah. Um, it's it's industrial, but yeah. it has uh, a lot of potential. Uh, but 
You know, I like I saw your video game out there, yeah. the Galaga. And when I was a kid, I used to love Galaga, and wow. I loved Tron, and I loved um, even sometimes would play Frogger, Ooh. which was a Froggers. little Frogger yeah. game. <laughs> but Missile Command is the game I wow, liked a lot. It's a classic. Yeah, yeah, I loved the Missile. Command. Now uh, the, the vintage uh, is cool. Yeah, I loved that. Maybe I should get some of those for the bass. I always wanted wow. to do that in LA, um, but I would I would try to. You know, I was very poor, okay, so I yeah. would I would try to get some money somehow. <laughs> However, I could, yeah. and then I would go to the store, yeah. and I, you know, I would ask for quarters, and I would play video games and eat uh, candy. Okay, uh, and that's all I wanted to do is eat candy and play video games. Uh, <laughs> and of course, back then you couldn't even st- sit down; you had to, you, st- you had to stand up the whole time. But I remember when Atari came out. Yeah, okay, too, that was a big one. It's a great trick, and yeah. uh, a year is like um, we work. It's yeah. like we, it's a place like we work. Yeah. Your your yeah, your like series inspired me. Oh, yeah, like not we the were. finish, not the finish, yeah, but yeah, yeah, in the yeah. first the yeah, first part. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Or you have a good community, you have a good vibe. Yeah. yeah, that's a really smart thing to do. Yeah, if you make your environment really inspiring, uh, it can be helpful. Make you want to be here more. Yeah. Too, right? yeah. When yeah. you when you open your space, can you can you invite me? I yeah, I come with you. Yeah, 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 <laughs> I will come. Yeah, I will come. Exactly. Um, I I don't know other artists like you. Uh, connect music, uh, fashion, movies with success. Um, w- what is who is your reference? If you if you have, I don't really have very many references. I mean, there are people that I admire, like David Bowie. Oh yeah. Um, but I don't know. I don't really have that many models. Um, uh, but I've always just followed my own instinct and uh i think my secret has been that i i love to work wow. and i work a lot i'm yeah. always just working yeah. um that's the dominant behavior in my life if one were to study my life and see oh how does he um get the outcome okay. that he gets he would just find that it's just work it's wow, very yeah. s- simple because just your work, work. Is, is your passion yeah and it's always it's always It's great, and um, when you when you won a, a Oscar, uh, your speech uh, uh, impressed me because you speech about you speak uh, you told about your mother and your and your father. What did uh, your mother think when you and your brother start with the music? Well, she was very encouraging. Yeah, um, yeah, she was very encouraging for us to do something creative with our lives, which was very brave of her. You know, when you have children. It's easy to want them, it's probably easy to want them to do something that you think might be safe. But she always encouraged us to follow our our creative voices, you know, to follow our creative dreams. And uh, so we owe her uh, a real debt for that encouragement. She also exposed us to a lot of creativity, a lot of art. Um, what are those shoes over there? I've seen yeah. those shoes before. The Nike Mac from Back to the Future, the movie. Back to the Future. Martin McFly. Oh, the Martin McFly. That's <laughs> great. That's yeah. great. That His icon. Great. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. icon here. That's so great. Those it's, movies were so great. What a time period. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's so funny, Back to the Future. <laughs> Do you have some... Because I'm a sneakerhead. Yeah. Uh, I'm a sneakerhead and my passion is the, the sneakers. So yeah. one, of, one of them, one of all. Uh, your passion for the for the fashion is very is very cool. I I have seen, I have seen you at the um, the last Met Gala. There there was a we, we have a a common friend Alessandro Borghi. Do you know? Mm, yeah, he's yeah, great. You know? Yeah, yeah. He's, he's our great. he's our friend. He told me about the Met Gala. Yeah, I, yeah. We have seen you. Where is now the the cat suite? It's it's <laughs> it's somewhere in a bar. Actually, I think it's in China. Uh, or Mac- it's in Macau or something. Ah, wow! But but yeah, he's great. Uh, he's he, on tour. He, he lives in Rome, right? The uh, yeah, 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 Alessandro yeah. lives in Rome. Yeah, he's fantastic. A great actor. Uh, uh, yeah. Kikatsufai. Ah, you know, he he, he teach uh, you. I think so. I think, <laughs> uh, I think he probably did. <laughs> yeah. But no, I was watching his show. Okay, uh, okay. His TV show too. Yeah, right? his, yeah, yeah. Probably, yeah, probably, yeah, probably. With the blonde hair. Yeah. And, uh, 
I was uh, telling him he's always his character is always upset. He's, yeah. ah, da, 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 da. he's always uh, <laughs> on fire, guy. right? You yeah. Know? Um, yeah. But he's great, uh, really good actor. Um, but I, you know, I have uh, of course my other Alessandro friend yeah. lives in Rome uh, too, uh, Al- Alessandro Michele yeah. from Gucci. But um, uh, yeah, the Met Ball was 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 a blast. The, the costume, yeah, I think it's at a it's at a uh, casino or something. Uh, I can't remember, but they wanted it. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Okay. Um, in the Someone wanted to borrow it. So I said, okay, you can have, you can take it. Okay. And uh, the, the Met Gala is a, an important event for, for the, for fashion, for value. And you connect the, the, the fashion at the music, but where is, uh, what is the, the outfit that you wear and that you are pride, proud? I mean, I love the cat costume okay. because it was just an idea that I thought of, uh, and and I wanted to bring a smile to people's face. Okay, yeah. But I, you know, it's it's because I like it because it's ridiculous, but it's also creative, and um, and it was done really well. The 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 people that built it were very. They did a great job. Okay. I mean, it it looks exactly like the real cat. And the process of putting it together, you know, how big should the eyes be? How big should the head be? Should the belly be fat or skinny? Should the cat? All of those little decisions um, well, they fascinate me. And for the for your for your tour for your music tour with Thirty Second to Mars, have you do you have some ideas for already for your outfit? You, not for the 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 tour yet, but. Um, But we'll get to it pretty soon. I mean, we're gonna we're gonna play Lollapalooza as the first uh, okay. big show coming up. So, but I have to start thinking about it. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> maybe yeah. maybe it's better. Do you have some yeah. some advice for the new generation about music? Because you start in other in other period, and now uh, always uh, no everything is fast. Uh, yeah, I your, mean, your the, career is very big, long. The big issue for for young people in music is that it really is just a matter of time before artificial intelligence can yeah. write a song that sounds pretty good. You yeah, know? Uh, you can even write a song that sounds pretty bad if you want it to. Um, so you're gonna have a different type of competition, and and what may happen too because there there could be an abundance of artificial intelligence. Um, created music that fills up video games or TikTok. It kind of might replace some of the the opportunity that's there for for uh, new musicians. You may even be interviewing uh, 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 an artificial intelligence celebrity or musician at some point yeah. that maybe some people are behind or control or create, um, but but. But that's very, you know, that's here now. Yeah. So that's a that's an interesting challenge. Um, you know, people may go full circle and then demand, you know, authenticity uh, in some way. You know, that someone actually, or or they may appreciate someone that really knows how to play a guitar, or that really knows how to um, sing, or that really knows how to, you know, that might become even more valuable. Yeah. So that'll be interesting to see what happens there. But You know, with young for young people making music, you just have to keep writing. Mm. Yeah, keep writing, keep writing, keep writing, keep writing. Keep writing. Every day. My new tattoo tomorrow. Yeah. It will be just keep, keep writing. writing. <laughs> and, and, and just keep making things. Keep making things and sharing them with people. Share them with your friends. Yeah. Get responses. See how they affect people. Are they affecting people in the way that you want them to? And that's, that's do, do you have many tattoos? Uh, 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 every every tattoo is about uh, music. Yeah. A thirty second to Mars. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. Pr- pretty much. Um, they're all kind of designs that either me or my brother have made for um, for the band for the okay. albums. Yeah. With your brother, the relationship is good, but for create music, sometimes you argue or fight with your brother. You know, not anymore. I mean, okay. we we can get into a little discomfort sometimes, but I, we give each other the space and the respect um, that that we both uh, need. Um, and I think we recognize too the value that we bring each other. So we we, we we put a lot of effort into 
creating space so that we can both um, do what we do best. Which prefer when uh, uh, came out with your when we came out with uh, your music or with your or with your movies? I mean, music is very personal for me because I do it with my brother, yeah. and uh, I've been doing it for uh, longer than I've been making films. It's it's something that's been a part of my life, and it's a dream that I've had a lot longer than. Um, making movies uh, but music is just more personal yeah it's, it's your project yeah it's 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 just me and my brother and it's always yeah. just been me and my brother and but the other member of, of the band maybe sometimes are jealous about your um, actor career or or no N no because oh? there's really nobody else to um, really it's just my brother and I okay uh, yeah, the, yeah, yeah, the, yeah we're, yeah, the, we're yes. the two um, um, with the two parts of 30 seconds to Mars. And it's like, you know, a family business. And, and when you go on tour for a long time, you need to take a break. Yeah. Okay. So when we take a break, I go make a movie. My brother, okay. he, he does some other things. Thank you for everything, Jared. You inspire me. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. We waiting for you for, for, for live show, maybe in Italy. I don't know. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, we love you. Uh, thank you, brother. We wait you for, um, for next time. I will see you soon. Jared Leto, thank you very much, bro. Grazie mille. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs>